TTW Community Guides. You've requested. I've complied. I want to mod the hell out of my game, and I need a place to start. How do I make New Vegas more stable? How do I optimize performance? Those are the questions. This is the answer. This tutorial is for everyone. Whether you are playing an overhaul like Tale of Two Wastelands, using a large mod like Fallout New California, or doing a mostly vanilla playthrough, this guide will help you make the most of New Vegas. You can perform these steps on a new game or on a game in progress. I use Mod Organizer 2, so that's what I use here, but others can follow along just the same. GOG owners can skip this step. Your version of the game comes 4GB aware. By default, even though New Vegas is a 32-bit game, Steam versions only utilize 2GB of RAM. This patcher allows you to double that. Navigate to the FNV 4GB patcher and download the archive. If you don't have the mentioned VC redistributable, download it directly from the mod page and run the executable. It won't hurt to run it if you aren't sure. Unpack the 4GB archive to a location of your choosing. Place the Fallout NV patch.exe in the Fallout New Vegas game folder. Right click it and run as admin. Once the patcher window reads Fallout NV exe patched, push any key to continue and you are done. From here on out, I suggest launching the game through the New Vegas script extender to avoid the potential of the Steam launcher or default game launcher undoing these changes. I assume here that you know what the New Vegas script extender is and that you have it installed. A link is provided to a video for those who need help with it. The NVSE memory patch extends initial memory allocation. This helps with memory fragmentation, slowdowns, and menu lag. In the game's data folder, if you don't see an NVSE folder, right-click and create one. In the NVSE folder, right-click and create a new text document. If you don't see the file extension .txt, watch the provided video on how to reveal file extensions. Rename the document, being sure to delete the .txt extension. Title it NVSE underscore config .ini. Select Yes at the pop-up. Open the INI. Add the section Memory in brackets. Directly beneath, add the setting Default Heap Initial Alloc MB equals 400. That's it. Close and save the INI. NVAC implements structured exception handling and sanity checking. This reduces crashes for various reasons, including a Windows 10 update. It even provides minor performance gains. Navigate to NVAC, New Vegas Anti-Crash. Download, install, and activate as normal. There are no special steps. These updated sound libraries optimize the game's audio decoding. It fixes an audio memory leak, sound-related stuttering, and boosts performance while reducing CPU strain. Navigate to OGG Vorbis Libraries and download the main archive. Unpack the archive to a location of your choosing. Navigate to the game folder and create a new folder within titled Original Vorbis DLLs. Select the libvorbis.dll and libvorbisfile.dll. Drag and drop them into the original Vorbis folder for backup. Drag and drop the three new Vorbis files into the game folder. NVSR prevents or mitigates a number of stutter and FPS issues. Without this mod, the game engine syncs to 64 Hz. This causes a 4-frame skip every 60 frames and creates what we perceive as micro stutter, most noticeably when moving horizontally. Among other issues, this is what NVSR helps to correct. Navigate to New Vegas Stutter Remover. Download and install as normal. If the Install Mods window opens, right-click the Data option with the checkbox and set Data Directory. Select OK, then activate NVSR in the left pane. Right-click the mod and open an Explorer. Open the NVSE folder, Plugins, and finally the Stutter Remover INI. Within the Master section at the top, set all settings to zero except for B Fast Exit and B Replace Get Tick Count. Leave those two settings set to 1. Setting B-hook critical sections to 1 also helps with stutter and crashing. 
However, Windows 10 users may receive crashes with it enabled. Feel free to test it for your setup. If you want to play around with the INI on your own, feel free to do so. But for the sake of this tutorial, this is all that we are doing. At this point, test your game. If your game crashes with the stutter remover enabled, you will have to delete the mod and carry onwards. EN Boost is the memory enhancing feature of ENB. It helps the game utilize memory more efficiently. However, for many New Vegas users, there is a major downside. When some of us rotate the camera left and right with EMB enabled, whether it's just the memory patch or the entire graphical overlay, we experience stuttering and a hitching that potentially render this feature useless. Like the stutter remover, you may or may not want to use this, but it's worth testing. In your driver program, ensure that anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing mode are set to Application Control. For my NVIDIA cards, I right-click the desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. In Manage 3D Settings, open the Program Settings tab. Select the Fallout NV Executable from the drop-down. Then in the Specify Settings window, switch the aforementioned values to Application Control. Navigate to EMB for New Vegas. Select the most recent build at the bottom of the page. Scroll to the bottom of the page that opens and select Download. Open the archive and then the wrapper version. Drop the contents into the game folder. In the game folder, open the EMB local any file. Within global, set Use EM Boost without graphics to true. Within memory, Set Expand System Memory X64 and enable Unsafe Memory Hacks to true. Set all other applicable memory settings to false. Leave Reserved Memory Size MB at 512. You can test other values by lowering it in increments of 128 if desired. Set Video Memory Size MB to the amount of VRAM a single installed GPU has. I have 8GB of VRAM, so I set this to 8192. Windows 8 users, unfortunately, can only set this value as high as 4096, as Windows 8 introduced a bug that restricts DX9 games memory usage. It was fixed in Windows 10. When finished, save and close the INI. Now test the game, run around and play as normal for a while. If you find that there is stuttering when looking one direction or the other, close the game and remove EMB. Use the EMB archive that you downloaded to know what files to delete from your game folder. The JIP LN plugin, among other things, includes numerous engine bug fixes, a lag issue, and broken feature restoration. Navigate to JIP, download the most recent archive, and install as normal. I assume here that you know what an any file is. MO2 users, open tools, any editor. Everyone else, your any files will be located on the local disk at users, username, documents, my games, and in the game title folder. Open the Fallout any. If any of these settings don't exist in your file, add them manually. These first two settings affect cell purging. Enabling them helps mitigate memory-related crashes. Mods that perform these same tasks do not function correctly and should be avoided as they tend to break more than they fix. Within the section, Background Load, add or adjust the setting B Selective Purge Unused on Fast Travel to 1. Within the General section, add or adjust the setting B Preemptively Unload Cells to 1. These tweaks allow multi-core CPUs to utilize more than a single core. This provides better performance and prevents specific game launch CTDs. In the general section, add or adjust the setting B Use Threaded AI to 1. Still in general, add or adjust iNum HW threads to the amount of CPU cores that you have. I have 4 cores, so I enter 4 here. If you have 8, enter 8. These final tweaks increase audio cache to reduce the need to reload sounds, which are used frequently. It also helps with some stuttering issues and or sounds sometimes not playing at all. Within the audio section, add or adjust the setting I Audio Cache Size to 8192. Still within audio, 
Add or adjust the setting, iMac size, for a cached sound to 1024. Overlays such as Steam's and Afterburner cause a memory leak with FNV. Steam's overlay has also been known to make certain objects become transparent. Turn overlays off. The NVBSA Decompressor is a tool created for the Tale of Two Wastelands, made modular so that all FNV users can benefit from it. Among other things, this app decompresses BSAs to reduce load times and stutter, converts OGG files, and unpacks MP3s to fix non-working sounds. It also implements the Vorbis DLLs previously mentioned. Navigate to the Decompressor page. Download the archive and unpack it to a location of your choosing. Launch the app. At the decompressor window, assure that the new Vegas game folder file path is correct. Select Decompress and allow it to complete. It may take a couple of minutes. When finished, select Exit. MO2 users, open the default game location Fallout Any. Scroll down to the Archive section and copy the setting S Archive List, including the entire value after it. Open MO2, Tools, in the editor. Highlight the S archive list here in its entirety and paste what you just copied to replace it. Save and close the INI. A special thank you to our poet lords, Watch Hill and Trotsky, for their charitable contributions and support. Thank you to those of you keeping gamer poets a reality. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.